Bloomberg recently said something that is getting a lot of attention in the business world. They think the value of value of XRP will go up a lot, which means it might go through the roof. So Bloomberg advisor makes this big claim of $60,000 saying that XRP is like Bitcoin in the financial world. There is evidence to back this guess. So it's not just a guess, it's a solid one. A reputable source says that there is more and more talk about XRP's value going up to an amazing $60,000. This comes after Ripple made it clear that it wants to make XRP the cryptocurrency of choice for banks, just like Bitcoin is for the rest of the market. There is more to this story than just rumors or casual comments made by a Bloomberg advisor during a live broadcast. Uh, Ripple's new partnership with the International Swaps and Derivatives Association ISTA has also changed the game. They plan to use XRP. Ledger to handle deals worth about $1.2 quadrillion, an initial price of around $10,000 per XRP might be needed to do so. We'll talk more about each of these advances in today's short film. Before we start, please give me a big thumbs up to join our group click the like button, stick around, and turn on notifications. To start, we're going to talk about the groundbreaking idea that Ripple is making big relationships in the financial institutional worlds. We talked about the International Swaps and Derivatives Association's IDA and Ripple's big plans to handle more than $1.2 quadrillion, but that's only the tip of the iceberg. Our main focus has been on what's happening in North America and Europe. In today's video, we talk about all the excitement that Bloomberg has caused by saying that XRP could reach an amazing $660,000 in a very short time. Besides these places, we shouldn't forget about countries like Africa, where Ripple and Onik are working very hard. Ripple's goal is to change the way money is sent between countries in Africa. With this level of global financial unity, it's hard to imagine how easy it would be to send money across borders, not just within Africa, but also between the Gulf Corporation Council countries, the UK and Australia. This could all be made possible by Ripple's platform. It's a recurring theme, especially when they talked about how much XRP costs at $60,000. This may seem like new information to some, but it's not. A similar hypothesis has been seen before in a very good case. Forbes is another well-known source of financial news. Forbes once wrote an article called New Bitcoin is XRP, and it's headed to 59 for SE2, which Bard.air has confirmed. And it's interesting that this item was taken down a few minutes after it was posted. This information has been proven by many AI systems, such as Chat and GPT. It's especially important that these stories agree with each other. Both the older Forbes piece that no longer exists and the newer Bloomberg study find the same thing. Bitcoin hit its all-time high of around $6,000. These interesting ideas from trustworthy money news sources add a new level of interest to the conversation about how much XRP might be worth in the future. This means that XRP might not only compete with Bitcoin, but maybe even beat it. These bold predictions have made them respected, and people are looking into the reasons behind them. Publications like Forbes and Bloomberg, though only for a short time with Forbes. Putting forward such a big rise for this is not just a guess. It shows how optimistic people are becoming about the digital currency market, especially where XRP will fit in the future. It is very important to know how XRP fits into the ecosystem of digital currencies compared to Bitcoin, which is usually thought of as a way to keep value. XRP is becoming known as a way to make international transactions easier. The goal of partnerships and progress in technology is to speed up, lower the cost, and improve the efficiency of foreign trade. In the globalized world we live in now, where foreign banking and trade are important. This is really important. The technology behind XRP is also strong because Ripple's blockchain technology can be scaled up and is fast. This helps fix some of Bitcoin's problems. XRP is a good choice for both individual investors and financial institutions that want to streamline their processes. Because of this, it is not a surprise when people say that XRP will hit or go over $60,000. It is important to know that XRP is not just a number. It stands for the value and impact that XRP could have on the global financial system, not only as an extra cryptocurrency, but also as a tool that will change the way money is handled as the use of digital currencies grows. The coin in question is XRP, which is clearly a major player to keep an eye on. The merging of Forbes and Bloomberg Insights, changes in technology, uh, and having business ties with Ripple paints a picture. Because the future of XRP is so uncertain, it is important to draw attention to the trend we are seeing. When writing about money, especially after the Forbes article about XRP that Dai checked out, even though this story was published for a short time, it was quickly taken down. This isn't an isolated case. We're seeing a pattern where financial news sites that cater to people with close ties to business elites publish interesting articles about coins like XRP. They put them up and then quickly took them down, leaving people wondering why they were taken down so quickly and why there was silence afterward. It doesn't just happen with this Bloomberg advisor. It seems like there is an intentional effort to downplay or even silence his comments about XRP, even though they have been broadcast and confirmed. This is only true for Forbes. There are articles and news stories that show how XRP is being kept secret from the public. Since people are staying quiet and hiding things, it's hard not to wonder what's going on and why they don't want to continue these talks. When it comes to XRP in the news, BlackRock's filing of the Share XRP Trust ETF is one example. A big step was taken, but it didn't get the praise it earned. 
The fact that such a big bank is starting to use XRP should definitely be in the news. Concerning BlackRock's link to XRP, but these rumors were quickly thrown out as false. This is true, even though a BlackRock advisor filed an XRP ETF trust company, as shown by trustworthy sources like the news website of the Delaware State Government. At that point, the proof was clear to everyone. Not long after these confirmations, after taking this into account at first, Bloomberg expert Eric Blink tweeted that BlackRock's attempt to register the iShares XRP was legal. I hope this was an interesting statement that took an unexpected turn. He later took back this claim, saying it's not true. It looks like these contradictions are not just random events. Uh, some people have tried to downplay BlackRock's connection with XRP on purpose so that it seems like big banks like JP Morgan and BlackRock aren't really interested in this cryptocurrency yet. From what we've learned, it looks like the opposite is true. A report from October 17, 2023 said that BlackRock and JP Morgan have been secretly getting rich. A huge 7.5% of XRP's entire wealth is being put into this virtual currency. This is a big discovery that goes against the story's claim that it can be read by anyone. People, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take into account that I'm not a licensed financial advisor and that the information in these movies is just meant to be fun. Before making any financial decisions, I always tell my viewers to do their own study and talk to professionals. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button if you like the movie. Also, don't forget to turn on alerts so you know right away when I post something new. It will be great to see you in the next show. Be careful.